all right welcome back to another rust video today as you can see is a very special day because it is rust's 10th anniversary and also it is for so oh cake on the ground are you serious i'm pretty sure you can eat this why would somebody drop it anyways it is rust's 10th anniversary and it is also for swipe it just swiped just now yep that's pretty much all there is to it we're just gonna get right into it go ahead and munch on that happy birthday rust you have done wonders to the youtube community and the rust community and i hope this game goes on for a very long time but yeah we got enough for a bow so let's get a bow real quick doing oh wait nope let's get the legacy bow all right look at this thing man pretty sick all right let's check out the map let's see where we want to build uh could build in the snow Okay, I just threw that away. All I Why did I do that, man? I mean, I I'm a little closer to my build spot now, but I hit him first time. I didn't expect him to have a nail gun, man. You know what? That's my gift to that guy. That is my gift to that man. All right, starting now, that is my only mistake, dude. That is the only mistake I will ever have. Starting right now. All right, we almost have what we had originally, just TC doors, that's pretty much it, and then a bow. It's getting dark, we gotta build soon. Ooh, couple bases there. got ourselves a base now we don't have a bag so we need to look for cloth all right made it to outposts i'm just going to uh, i think i'm probably just gonna cheat my way out of this and just farm the barrels i think i've got enough here Wait, I have blueprints? I have blueprints on here? Apparently this server doesn't wipe blueprints. Okay. So, that's cool. Alright, so I have SAR, semi-pistol, DB. I have mollies, pumpies, silence. Okay, so if I don't have BPs wiped, then the rest of the server probably doesn't have either, which means I need to get home before I get raided. No way. No way. Bro, what a lucky find, man. I saw that guy earlier, man. I thought he would have taken off by now, but he stuck around. And there's home. Not even that far from here.
All right. First objective is a tier one. gonna go up, but now we're gonna stay down here even longer. A nice find. Alright, we should head back. now. I shot from my base. I'm gonna leave the python in here. Uh, I'm gonna let them go. I need to recycle. That is priority right now. Plus they live there, I'm pretty sure, so... Recycling it, which is good. I think they're in the recycler area. So if I hear them go this way, they're gonna come up that tunnel. If I hear them come this way, they're going to go up that tunnel. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good. W. Let's go, man. That's how you do it. Uh, they didn't have that much scrap. Unless I missed it or something. I don't know. But, man, what a come up. Any wood. Maybe we start there.
Do I not have... I don't have pistol bullet? Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I'm still gonna need a research table. Those guys from Sewer Branch. That's where they live. They live down. Oh, and those guys are coming over. Let's go drop off what we have. I'm gonna drop off the python too. Easy snag. I need another box. somebody I think it was because I killed somebody there's so much loot over there oh so close <laughs> There's so many of them, dude. Um, I'm gonna ignore that for now, though. We still need to recycle, so I'm gonna grab... I gotta move. I can't live there. 
I can't, I can't live there. I can't live there. I just lost all that scrap to a roof camper. I need to find somewhere else to live. And they were waiting for me too. So pathetic. So let's run around and just look for a perfect spot. Alright, well I can't- I currently can't leave my front door. Because they're on their roof 24-7 with a SAR. So I'm gonna have to build from the ground. Oh, what about here? It's out of the snow. So I don't have to deal with cold. Outpost is right here. Airfield's right here. You know what? This is perfect. No way. And he just runs away, like... Secured. This is home. I'm just going to recycle the outpost. It's turning dark soon, so I want to get this done. Okay, 
crafted ourselves a SAR. And now we're gonna go farm. back with some mollies. This can be a, f a good first molly raid. side though. Just need a jackhammer. post recycle and then we're gonna finish eco rating that it's also turning night so which is a good time for me to transfer the rest of the stuff from that fob and then uh yeah continue on with our progression thing we're gonna do is finish that raid assuming he didn't log on and seal Two scrap. Got it. 
That guy, what was his plan? Ithons at, at gas station. Let us go check that out. wasn't paying attention. I'm so bad at roaming, dude. Just lost a, a full SAR kit. Because I headed towards the gas station. I was looking for the python guy. Couldn't find him. And I got compound bow to the face. And then I whiffed. Kill this guy real quick. for these P2 shots. We need to make up for our shitty loss. Insane man. Somebody's on the zip line. He was on the zip line. He died? Hit himself on the tree, I guess. Can I get can I get that paddle? I hit the tree when I was hitting the zip. Can I get the paddle? Just so I could row for him. Okay. He didn't know that that tree was blocking it, so it's kind of fair.
Alright, uh, let's just go straight home. happening here these guys won the fight and they sent their teammate to come and see if anyone's camping them so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sit here and wait for all of them to come out yeah they're all gonna come out Victor? He didn't have much loot, and he only had one Revo. Alright, I'm gonna start researching some electrical stuff. So I would like to get some electrical furnaces going. How much tech trash do I got? Zero. We need tech trash. See one guy on top. back so that's cool 83 high qual holy crap the objective right now we need to recycle these for the tech trash so we can start making some electrical stuff Wood? I didn't know where to look. I should have figured he was inside. Mission accomplished. We need that. One, two, three, four. He could have easily killed me since I reloaded. Okay, we have electric furnaces running. Almost eight hours into the wipe now. It's almost 10 p.m., so... My main goal before I get off is to get the outer TCs done, and I would like to probably just do one raid, maybe. Satchels. Uh, pretty much get all the BBs we need ready for tomorrow.
What are you doing, man? Take your cake. all that for wood. Recycle some of these comps. Kaitan Saya, can you drop me five scraps so I can gamble? Kaitan Saya, Kaitan Saya, Kaitan Saya, 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 five scrap to gamble, five scrap to gamble, five scrap to gamble, five scrap to gamble. this fight. Probably the last fight I'm gonna really check out and then I'm gonna work on my base. It's getting really late here. Are they cheating? I don't want to assume they're cheating right away, but they literally just- I was crouched the whole time and they just instantly peeked me like that. How do you fight that? Look at how many there are, dude. And they're just parked here? Like, why? We try, that's all that matters. I really, really, really hope they don't interrupt me while I am putting down my externals. I think they're gone, though. Really? That's so stupid. That is so, so stupid. Whoa, that doesn't really interfere much. That is so stupid, man. That you can just spam those. And they take forever to decay. Look how close he put it to my TC. How, how can you be able to do that? so difficult to do, man. There's always that one asshole, right, that just does this shit. Like, is that really necessary to a solo? Alright, we're gonna go check out 
out the that base up the hill with the backwards wall. We're gonna backwards pick it. And I have 10 satchels uh, ready to go. I expected another metal door. So I'm gonna bring nine satchels just in case there's a door on the inside. That base has to have some scrap in it. Like, there is a research table outside earlier on the wipe. That guy's online too. Maybe I should read that guy first. Alright, we're gonna raid this guy first since he's closer and he's online and, you know, I don't want him to upgrade the two metal doors, so then we'll finish the raid up the hill. Okay, there's just an AK in here. This guy had an AK. I'm really confused on how this guy managed to get... Alright. Well, there you go. Why is this guy named Blue? Anybody else see this? His name is Blue. That was an amazing raid. I'm bringing this shit down. Still got one more raid to do. Alright, last raid. This one's offline, so... It's, but those neighbors are on, though. So, it might get countered by them right away. Okay. I mean, I can craft a couple more satchels, I guess. I don't know why these AK guys are here. But, it, it is what it is, man. They were headed to outposts, probably. Uh, but now I don't have anything to break the TC. Because I don't have enough low gray, which means I need to go kill a bear. Hope I don't run into these guys again, because that would suck. Joking, these guys move? Whatever, man. Alright, I wasted eight satchels and three mollies on this base. Their freaking campfire was on. They must have moved because I soft sided the, the wall and they thought I was gonna fully raid them. Oh my god, man. If I would have just raided them fully with the satchels, I could have gotten the loot. But because I saw sighted, they, they knew I was on to them. I learned my lesson there. Alright, that's enough raiding, dude. I think I'm just going to spend the next 25 minutes just doing base stuff. And then I'm going to get off for the night.
Hey. There we go. I got a little extra out of that. Actually, I should buy some low grade too. Why not? lost all the important stuff, which was the scrap. Apparently somebody was there and they grabbed it right away. Oh, man. Alright, that's pretty much it for me then. I'm just going to use up all of my resources and call it. See you guys for day two tomorrow. Okay, we're back for day two. And how are we looking? Pretty good, pretty good. You're looking very, very good. Yesterday, we started off with a little hiccup, but then uh, we found an, a nice little spot by the, the snow there. Made some nice plays, and then we got stopped by a roof camping group who was literally on our fucking door. They had access to my front door from their roof. There was no way I was going to be able to progress, so... I had to move bases, and I found a new place to call home. Damn, that battery is almost filled up, and I left this on overnight. We got tier 2. We got a nice functioning base going. Uh, it's just the core, pretty much, of my base design, along with the outer TCs. I don't see any new neighbors, so well, except for that. We raided a nice 2x1 with an AK in it. Apparently, the guy had a fucking AK for some reason. 
So that was cool. But then, uh, from that point, it was just downhill from there, man. It was just people hiding in bushes. I went for an outpost run, and on my way back, I just got jumped. Like, it was just awful, man. It was so, it was so bad. And even that raid up the hill was even worse, dude. So, no, no wipe is perfect. There's never a perfect wipe. We got the whole day ahead of us today, and uh, maybe even a day three if this wipe goes well. Let's uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna put the AK kit away for now because I feel I don't trust myself with the AK kit just yet. We'll do one farm run just to fill up the electric furnaces while I'm, you know, looking for people to kill. What? Is this like random items? Low grade and a can of tuna. Okay, so I want to make a shop by outpost. shop design. hundred. Are these decaying yet, man? I thought these would start decaying. Dude, my screen froze right there, man. Oh, no way. No, dude, my SAR is gonna break. I have to kill somebody, like, right away. And I'm starving too, which is... Oh, man. I need to find some food. I am not prepared for this at all. Don't have a flashlight either. It's turning night. Oh, this is so bad. I'm not prepared for this, guys. I think I have to go back to base. That's a shadow bug. I can't even see past it. That was kind of boring, but we did get an L9 and a Bolti, so I'll take it. How's oil looking? Oil's up right now. Let's go get red card.
All right, we're gonna go make a boat base so we can start taking oil. I think I just found where all the big boys are at. Don't have a flashlight. Again. Not prepared for these night shifts, man. I just before I doing it. Well, they just took the fucking crate. They got the crate, so what are they waiting for? Looks like they're leaving now. No, don't tell me they live there. These stupid waves. Come over. Come over. So difficult with these stupid waves, man. Should have got out sooner and started shooting them. Uh, and I was missing shots, dude. I mean, that's all my fault there, but still, like, nighttime waves, just these stupid little things that just mess me up. Um, we're just gonna park our boat and put everything inside the boat and just leave it be. I'm going to just take the AK out because, I don't know, I'm just not hearing any gunshots. I'm not seeing anybody. No gunshots. The server's dead. So I'm going to go out with the AKL9. And I'm going to go really far out and I'm just going to see what happens. I really, I'm not too worried about losing this, this set. Finally, I get to kill somebody. So is that group like active as well? I'm confused. Well, we roamed for like 20-30 minutes. This whole area, we found one active compound. I'm pretty sure they're just farming arctic and stone quarry and they're not leaving their area, so... Um, and then we found a farmer. A couple farmers, finally. It's better than nothing, I guess. hit the tunnels man I think we'll I think we will roam the tunnels for a little bit
Okay, we tried roaming above. Didn't find anyone, really. Just a couple farmers. We tried roaming below. Couldn't find anyone at all. So hopefully we can make it to this lock crate before it's gone. And I hope there's people there. Oh, there we go. Reba guy. why I don't go out with AK, because I'm just so fucking trash with it, man. That guy had to crate too. That was the python guy. And I whipped on him so hard both times. I wish I can be good with AK, man. I wish. I wish I can be good just overall. Now there's people underground. I could say the usual, like, oh, at least we tried, but, like, some- After a while, man, like, it doesn't even matter. Like, I should not be whiffing like that. And, of course, now there's people roaming the tunnels. Now, there are. There weren't before, but there are now, so... That's cool. My goal for the rest of the day is to just make up for the tragic loss of my AK kit. After roaming for a whole hour, not finding anybody worth killing. And then, yeah, then that happens. If I play on a high pop server, I just get constantly door camped, roof camped, uh, just, you know, all the negative stuff. And if I'm playing on a low pop server, it's just, it's, it's, everyone's sitting in base doing nothing and, uh, just bad timing. And then I, when I do get my chance, I'm like, I'm so tired out. Because I've been roaming for like three hours and nothing's happened. When it finally comes to actually kill somebody. I fail. You know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about my first experience playing Rust, considering that this is a, you know, a very special occasion. I first started playing Rust, I think around back in 20... I first touched Rust in 2018, and I only touched it once, that was it. And then 2019 is when I actually started playing it. 
and then towards the beginning of 2020 was when I first started playing it like like full time, like my main game. And if you guys look back at my old old videos, if you guys look at the I have a video called what my 100 hours in Rust looks like. That was one of my first wipes ever. Um, if you want to go look at that real quick, it's only like a few minutes. But you can easily tell that I'm like the biggest noob. That was the first time I ever like built a big base. And I got like kind of far into the wipe even though, I mean, you know, I didn't get any guns or anything like that. Like, you know, it's a good memory. It's a good memory. But yeah, it's a little backstory about me. My first experience playing the game. What's cool about having my own like YouTube videos on the game is that like I can actually look back at my old wipes and my old old memories, you know? Like I don't have to think about it. I can just go back and watch. One of my first ever videos that I ever made was the 2000 hour and the 3000 hour video. Those were the two videos that I those were the first two videos I ever made for Rust. And you can tell because I, I never talked in them. I never talked in them at all. And they were like really old footage. It's before before the graphics update, the big overhaul. So if you're looking to like look back at old footage, I definitely suggest that you look over, like go to my channel and hit like oldest video and watch a couple of those. Four hours I've been on the server and, today and nothing's happened. <laughs> nothing's happened, man. They bought... Oh! The diesel! Really? It's all we sold? We're 16 hours into the wipe and this is our gun box. It's just pathetic. We gotta change that, man. So come on. We can do this, man. I can't let my audience down. Alright, here we go, man. Starting now. Box of guns. Right here. No somewhere. Dude. Good first start, man. Good first start. One, two. Nice, man. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't heard a single rocket raid today. on that 
I can see where everybody is now. Like, will people please roam? Stop sitting in your base naked. It right, looks like we just roam this entire area here. We're gonna come down this way now. Somebody's trying to jump in. through the bush oh my god there's a fucking crate dropping at airfield i'm just gonna go straight for it It was so awful, man. It surrounded, man. Surrounded. Alright, we'll craft another Tommy. Tommy seemed to do well for me last time. Get the, I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. Oh, it's easy. I remember him. I got him to 11. I don't know how he didn't die. Alright, so I just got back from taking a break after that that loss we just that you guys just saw. I just needed to take a break, man. Couldn't handle the loss after loss. I did craft everything that I could while I was AFK. So I could prepare myself for the next few hours that I'll be playing. So yeah. There's some people over at gas station, but we need to get some low grade so then I can start roaming with meds. And then after that, we're just going to roam for the rest of the day, use up all the guns, see how much more content we can get from the server.
check in our shop while we're while we're up here. Okay, all right. Yeah, we didn't sell much here. No way. That person? Jenna was the one that was messing with me. Putting all those stupid little shelters outside my base. I'm starting to get- I'm starting to come back, man. I'm starting to come back. We got like four pythons, some revos of DB from that. At least we know that my area is really active now, which is cool. I totally forgot about the oil rig, the boat base too. We still never went to oil. Alright, Busco. How, how much you got left? Alright, buddy, yo, pal. How much you got left? How much you got left? Alright, How much you got left? Oh, you done. Oh, oh, he just ran out. Alright, silly. How much you got? What the fuck, dude? See, Daddy, 937! Uh, uh, That's my Bobby brother! Listen, you guys ask me why I don't ever recycle at Outpost. Built this locker up, by the way, so just in case. Really? Door camping me, huh? Let's find out where he lives. Okay. He lives in that.
Oh, it's at my base. Go to airfield and get some low grade. Oh, that scared me, man. That scared me. I don't know why I'm so easily startled. Like, it's it's a big problem. I don't want to be easily startled, but I am. guy just has 230 GP, just randomly. more I'm gonna be playing but we'll see uh, is oil up yet oil's still not up sure I'll take it I 
Tới đây I'm, I'm a little tired of the server, to be honest. Just a little tired of it. Okay. Why is everyone camping me? S stop camping, bro. So cringe. Everyone plays the server so cringe like. When I make this video, I don't even know how I'm gonna piece it together because this video is just kind of like all over the place where it has a pretty okay start and it's just like bits and pieces here that don't make any sense, you know? Like making the boat base to go to oil, but I never went to oil. We tried going once and we failed. Just things like that, you know? Also, like, it's it's kind of the weird thing about YouTube is that if you play a wipe and it turns out to be not that good, that re it really hurts me because, you know, it's just two days wasted of playing that so you can kind of see, like, where I'm coming from, which is why I like to have my, like, recollection series because all the little bits and pieces that I want to save I can just put them all together and you guys can enjoy a little, little small video of clips that I didn't want to go to waste, but... No, nobody's watching those, so... What is up with these low texture... Um, like, snow pits? Where was he? Like, what am I doing wrong, guys? And I can't see him through the damn trees. Sorry, guy, go. guys had a weird cut out there is on purpose the guy said a really bad word all 
Alright, I'm not waiting a, through a, throughout another night for uh, PvP. I think I'm done, guys. I think I'm done for this wipe. And wow, they were all camping, waiting for me. Look at that. Yeah, I'm I'm done, man. I'm done. It's it's almost 1 a.m., bro, and I'm just constantly getting camped over and over again by the same people. It's just it's irritating. Not worth wasting my time. No matter how many times I fail, I'm, I I just want PVP. Overall, though, uh, it was a fun wipe at first, and then uh, ever since that huge whiff on the AK guy, it was just kind of downhill from there. I mean, we did make some more plays, but. I don't know, man. It's just another one of those wipes. Another controversial wipe. I'm gonna struggle on how I want to edit this, because it's not really something that I would finalize in a video. But nowadays, I don't really have much choice. Happy birthday, Russ. Happy 10th birthday. You're an awesome game. The game, the game is perfect. Honestly, I really do think Rust is the perfect game out there. The only reason why majority of the time it sucks especially for solo players is because of the way players play the game you know idiots like that they just all they do is camp in bushes and camp around corners and sit on their roof and door camp and offline raid and all these things you know yeah i do it too but there's a there's a certain extent to where one can use said cheap tactics too far you know that's pretty much it for the wipe. I'm done. I'm logging off here, and I will see you guys next time.